Hello everyone, this is Reza from Radicad and today I'm going to talk about uh, the difference between two very important components in Power BI, um, which are data flow and data sets. Uh, what are the differences uh, and in which scenario you use each of these? Let's see. Um, I have done many presentations about uh, multi-developer architecture in Power BI, which uses both data flows and shared data sets. And one of the questions that I often get is at the end is that what is the difference between data flow and data set? So that's why I'm going to talk about that in this uh, video. I have also a blog about this video uh, with all the links to study more, which I uh, highly recommend you to go and uh, read more information from there. There are uh, much more information to study about that. Let's start with the data flow. Data flow is a set of Power Query scripts that you run. I go to my blog because I have all of these images over there. Uh, a set of um, um, uh, Power Query scripts that run in the cloud independent from Power BI dataset or reports. It stores the data into Azure Data Lake and CDM or Common Data Model folders as a CSV files. Uh, the data set on the other hand side is different. The data set is uh, where the data of Power BI is actually stored in memory. Uh, all the relationships, all the calculations, DAX expressions, the connection to the data source, that is the data set. Um, it's not usually that easy to see the data set when you are in Power BI desktop. Uh, you can go to Task Manager and see that there's a task with SQL Server Analysis Services running the data set. But in the website, in the service, you can easily see this, this difference. You can see there's a report and there's a data set. Report is visualization element. Data set is uh, everything but the visualization. Data, relationships, connection to the source, expressions, calculations. As I said, there are links to study more. Uh, I highly recommend you to go and learn more about the data flow and data set. Now, in this uh, one, we are going to talk about the differences. Uh, there are different differences between these two. One of the main differences is that data flow is replacement of your Power Query. In a data flow environment, similar to Power Query, you can get data from different places, do the data transformation. Versus the data set is replacement of your modeling. You can create relationships between your tables, write a DAX expression, and use it in visualizations, right? So data set is for modeling, tax expressions, uh, and relationships. Uh, data flow is for power query. Data flow is the ETL layer. If we consider these three as ETL layer, or let's say data transformation layer, ETL stands for extract, transform, load. If we consider this is ETL, uh, the other two layers of modeling and visualizations. Data flow is the data transformation layer. Data set, on the other hand side, is the data modeling layer, the layer that you add calculations, you might have multiple marts, data marts, um, a data set for purchasing, a data set for inventory, and things like that, and multiple visualizations connected to those. Data flow feeds the data into the data set. Uh, because usually the data flow result is not in memory, it's not uh, ready for visualization. You need to get it using a data set, uh, actually in Power BI using get data from Power BI data flow, build the relationships, uh, add some DAX expression into that so that it becomes ready for visualization. Data set results, however, can be fed into visualization because that's ready, all the calculations, everything is ready and can be used for a visualization. Uh, data flow usually access the data source directly. I say usually because there is uh, an option to use data flow to get data from another data flow that's called linked entity, or inside the data flow you can get data from another query called computed entity. Uh, but if you don't have those scenarios, usually data flow gets data directly from the data source versus data set although it can get data from a data flow, but best practice to build a multi-developer architecture is that your data set gets data from data flow. 
not directly from a data source. Uh, that way you are decoupling these multiple layers from each other. Um, and you can of course have different developers on each side. The data flow developer should be a person good with uh, with Power Query skills, with uh, understanding a little bit of M, understanding how the data transformation works, how to build a star schema, how to create dimension tables and fact tables, uh, what type of transformations is needed. That is the data flow developer skill set. The data set developer needs to know more about DAX and modeling and know all types of relationships, what type of relationship is needed here, how to uh, write complex DAX expressions. That is the data set developer requirement. Data set developer might also know Power Query, but that is not his or her primary skill set. Users of data flow are data modelers. So uh, if I build a data flow, uh, end user is not going to use that. Report visualizer is not going to use that. My data modelers, those people who are going to build calculations on top of this, are going to use the result of data flow. But the result of a data set is something that my report visualizers can use it because this is ready for visualization. They can use Power BI, live connection to the source, and build visualization. Data flow is built to solve the problem of having one table used in multiple files. Instead of copying that table in multiple places, you can uh, create that using data flow and then in different Power BI files, get data from that without uh, duplicating your Power Query script. So data flow solves the problem of having of needing one um, table in multiple files. And data set, on the other hand side, solves the problem of having multiple versions of the same tax expression. Let's say you spend time, you wrote a tax code, which is, um, rolling 12 months calculation for sales and you want to reuse it in multiple visualization, that way you build it in a shared data set and reuse it in multiple places. So in summary, these are some of the differences, as I mentioned already. The main point is that data flow and data set, they are not replacement of each other. They are complement of each other. Um, you need both of these to build a proper um, Power BI solution architecture that works with multiple developers and has uh, lowest amount of duplication of your code because using these, you can have the two very important layer of a Power BI architecture, which is modeling and uh, ETL or data transformation. As I mentioned, make sure you go and check my blog post. Link is in the description down below uh, and read more from the other links that I provided there. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.